Good morning, Fraser. Hope you're doing okay today, buddy. I hope uh, I hope the body's feeling good. I hope it's feeling better. I hope you're able to walk, and I hope you know things are still healing. Uh, Monday morning. So for me, this morning it seems to be so far for the last hour or so. Uh, administrative stuff, which you know I'm not really overly thrilled with, but you know what do you do, right? So, and my computer is very very slow today. So, oh well. I have no idea what today holds. None. So, uh, but I got a few things in mind. So, let's get the day going, man. Right, been working on uh, editing the uh, the fishing stuff, and uh, just with the software and with the amount of video that I have, it was uh, it was getting cumbersome, and I was uh, getting a little flustered because I was taking out the wrong stuff and having to put it back in and so it today's video two days ago's video <laughs> that you would have seen two days ago may not have been my best work uh, but you know I have all the raw stuff as well I got the main footage that I got done and then I got the uh, you know a bunch of different underwater parts in there but you can always watch the uh, the raw stuff to get you know all the footage of that stuff but well, it, the you know it's broken down. It's not full raw. It's it's uh, condensed, but still most of the most of the all good stuff anyway. So, so right now I am uh, working on camera number two. If guy can do this stuff, I can do this stuff. So I've got it popped. I'm gonna try popping it a little bit more. Well, it's already broken. So it's not like, you know, it's not like I can break it anymore. It's unusable as it is, so. Shut it there. Okay. Are you tired? There we go. Are you tired? Oh my word, there's actually tiny little screwdrivers in there. Tiny, tiny little screwdrivers. All right, let's see if I can't find it. <clears throat> no, that one actually fits. Look at the size of that thing, seriously. Marco, what's your problem? Oh, I see. Okay. That's what she looks like inside. That's the button that's causing me problems right there.
All right, I cleaned off that little thing. I doubt highly that that will be the issue, but we'll put it back in and try it, and if it is, it is, if it isn't, it isn't. These are the tiniest screws I've ever seen in my life. Batteries in. Oh, she actually turned off. Well, that actually surprised me a little bit. Got a timestamp. This was the problem hitting this button. Well, what do you know? She's working. How long she works for? Who knows? But she's working. I'll take it. I count that as a success today. That was... That's a success today. Alright, so <clears throat> this is a test of the uh, camera that I just fixed and uh, we'll see if it works. If it did work, I think what it was is I had too much crud around the uh, around the button that had gotten inside. And I... Dirty fingers? From the fingers, from the drywall, from oh, yeah, yeah. all sorts of stuff, right? So I cleaned that out and scraped it off and managed to get it apart and back together without breaking anything. Did you see the tiny screws? Do you see the sausage fingers? I'm just saying. That's something in itself. So, That's a thing. if you <laughs> if you see this uh, this video, this portion, then we know it worked. Okay, I was told on <clears throat> on Sunday by Andrew that uh, that the coho are out in abundance out there right now, and you can keep uh, two hatchery coho. Uh, he said he was out for a couple three days, and they caught about 25 salmon. Um, and 11 of which were keepable coho, so I'm going to get the, uh, the trolling gear ready, and away we go. From everything I know and remember, purple, for whatever reason, coho like purple. See, I'm not glad I like coho the best. And that's why Allie likes coho the best. I like that Patsy Klein song. Crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. That's Patsy Klein, isn't it? If I, can I, do I recall correctly? Is that, What's that have to do with Coho? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta adjust the lyrics to fishing stuff. Yes, I know. I gotta adjust, 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 adjust. I need for fishing for so Adjust, adjust, adjust. Just like that. So here's the... Uh, I don't know what to do, right? With... with uh, 
with the camera. If I put them on here, it'll spin. But it might be okay. Won't hurt if I win. Yeah. And we'll see how it goes, right? Try one on one side or whatever. Or try it once. Yep. Well, if we try it one, if we try it, we got to try it one day kind of thing, or at least for a portion of the day, and then I guess, yeah, we don't have to try it for the whole day. But we'll spin it around. Sorry. I'm not being very coherent right now. Again, it's the, it's the bureaucratic paperwork and all that sort of stuff that I just don't, I don't deal well with anymore. You know, makes me uh, not breathe well and all that wonderful stuff. Change the bed. Ooh, that's nice. It's raspberry. It's raspberry jelly. Right there. Oh, I thought that was a real anchovy. I was like, dude, you didn't clean up the anchovy. <laughs> And that's why I like the King Candy. See? Anything that looks as close as possible to an anchovy. I want to try some of these naked as well. I'm, I'm talking Can you about do that? the lure. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Can put down far enough? Oh, I guess the downrigger. No, 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 the downrigger takes, down. takes it down. It's got nothing to do with the weight, yeah. The slasher is just the spin, right? The slasher is just the spin. <clears throat> that one might look cool um, without the slasher. Yeah. And a little more appealing, right? Not so. Yep. And I've got, I think I've got two of those, but I wouldn't put, you know, I, I would wait and try one and then the other. And these are the Nemesis hooks, which I do not like. Not using Nemesis hooks. Skinny G. I like my skinny G's. I think so. Taking any excess junk off. So again, the way I test my hooks, the way Dad taught me, <clears throat> is if you set it on your nail and you go to slide it across, you can't. Uh, a hook that's dull slides across like ice, right? But again, no pressure downward, but you just can't, you can't slide it. That's a sharp hook. Good and sharp. Ooh, that one use a little bit. This is scary. They're all talking about that. I'm scared too. The homeowner's grant. Every year. This is huge. Crazy stress. Oh, terrible. Terrible. 
<coughs> Clean that out a little bit. That will be fine. All right, I'm going to rinse off my flashers and stuff and the lures with uh, Deputy 40, but other than that, <coughs> we are good to go for that. I got more lures to do, but uh, you know, that's okay for now. <coughs> All right, so I was out today. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more lures, but I meant jigs, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I came across this. It's made uh, by Lure Jensen. It's called anchovy. I like anything that resembles an anchovy. It's got the same little clip here, like the little protrusion that the, uh, the teaser heads do. This will last, I, I like the fact that there's no line running through it. Oh. Excuse me. I like the fact that there's no line running through it. It's just wire to wire, right? Clip to clip kind of thing. <clears throat> it's got, it comes with a treble as well. But I like this. To me, this looks like it would work. This is probably the nicest looking one I've seen so far. Because it's it resembles a it resembles like running a hair or an anchovy, an anchovy. I mean, fair enough. This is as expensive, not quite as expensive as as one box of uh, of anchovies, but that gives you ten, so you can run it ten times. This theoretically, I could run a hundred times, right? So it's like it's almost free. Ali <sighs> doesn't like my magic or my math. <laughs> <laughs> did I did I make a Freudian slip there? Oops. So uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna put on for this one here. I'm gonna put on the uh, the treble, and we'll see how it works. <clears throat> and if I like it, and it works, and I do believe it will, I may not be buying uh, may not be buying anchovies this year. It's hard to say. Because, you know, you get to a certain point where, you know, some part of the year the fish will just, you know, they'll hit everything. Uh, but at some point they just stop and they won't hit anything but anchovy kind of thing. But when they were hitting anchovy, they were hitting my King Candy, which again, my King Candy, right? Which is again the same, same shape, right? Same sort of thing. But this is like a stink bait. You put anchovy paste in there, but it's got a line to it again, right? <clears throat> so it's got the extra line. I don't know whether, why I like that or don't like that. This is simple. Like yeah, this is simple, right? And I don't think, I think I can run this. I think I can run this with the cameras without a flasher. I can run this naked. I'm trying it. Not right now, obviously, but I am. I am trying it. Allie likes this one. She wanted me to buy three of them, but I said no, no. <laughs> Let's wait and see how it works first. You're funny. Oh man. Ah! I don't know if I got that on camera or not. I was trying to uh, wedge open the uh, <clears throat> the split ring. Well, I was using the hook to try and press open the split what? ring. Well, Why? I know, I know, it doesn't seem like a good idea now. Seriously. It seemed like a great idea a minute ago. There. 
There we go. We're in. Very excited about that. Hey Fraser, hope you're having a good day today, bud. Today was kind of a mellow day, kind of a, you know, chill. Not didn't do a whole lot today. Uh, played with my camera number two, which now almost works. Now, the, this button here still, still having problems with that button. So I don't know what. Uh, we'll keep it and we'll play with it. But uh, I do have another camera. Uh, coming to replace that one, so that's uh, it's not a big deal, but it'll be there if I need to, you know, do something sketchy with it. But that was that was interesting, taking it apart and getting back into it then. But uh, you know, the fact that I was able to get it apart and put it back together without damage and actually work, so yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, what else did we do today? Not much, man. Just getting the stuff ready for uh, for trolling. I wasn't planning on getting trolling stuff ready for a while. To be honest, I. I hadn't been keeping up with when, um, well, that's not quite true. I, I kind of hadn't been keeping up with how uh, or where the coho regulations are because I didn't think they were still, they were open yet. On the app that I use, the first one says that it's closed, right? But then there's a second one for coho that says, you know, hatchery coho, and yeah, you're allowed to. So, had I seen that earlier, I probably would have been trolling more, but... That's, you know, you never know whether the coho are in or not, but from what I'm told, they're coho are in right now. So, so we'll be hitting coho next time we're out. And that should be, it doesn't look like the wind's down until next Saturday, but or, or this coming Saturday, but uh, but we'll see. Uh, but you know what, if the wind's down even a little bit, I wouldn't mind doing, you know, more of the halibut, uh, you know, fishing there, doing the thing. Because I, I honestly think if I had a longer leader, we might hit that thing, man. I really do. I took the uh, I took the video I took my phone in to uh, the DFO here in town uh, Department of Fisheries and I, I showed one of the guys and he was like I showed him both I showed him the salmon with the plug and I showed him that one with the the uh, the halibut with the plug what I believe is a halibut and he's like yeah he's like I just don't know enough he says uh, he's like I think so but you know I don't know he says uh, come in and chat with my my partner and the other guy and he'll uh, he'll know better so. I'm going to probably come in and, and do that. I'll, I'll see if he's around uh, maybe tomorrow and go in. I don't know why I need, you know, validation that it was a halibut. Because I need a validation that it was a halibut. That's why. Because you just do. But yeah, it's... Uh, because if it was a halibut, then that in itself tells me it's well worth fishing that way. Right? The guy I was talking to today was saying that uh, fishing with swim baits like soft swim baits down around where you'd normally fish for ling cod and such like that that's a way to hammer the ling cod but he says you got to be really really careful because if you're going around the pinnacles and if you're hitting rock then you got to be quick to get your uh, your ball up or down or out of the way or stopped or yell at the guy who's driving whatever right because it's uh it's a pretty sketchy way to fish i don't mind i don't mind doing that with the bottom where i know it's sand and mud but to do that in an area where, like, there's craggy rocks and stuff like that, yeah, that gets a bit sketchy, man. You can, uh, you can, well, you can sink your boat, really, if you're not paying attention. Uh, we got, back when the kids were quite small, we were in uh, Albury Inlet, and I got a cannonball uh, stuck right across from, is it China Beach, I think they call it there. Um, I was too close to the edge, and it started turning the boat, and of course, you know, it's the inlet, and currents and everything and yeah I cut the line uh, but I was I was quite worried about it because it was putting a lot of tension on the boat so it didn't feel good at the time I do want I do like the idea of the swim baits though I was thinking about swim baits as well like because the, the the spinners that I used the other day didn't really work and it, there wasn't enough current to spin the uh, the spinners so if you're down there if you're down there like almost dragging the swim bait I think that would work as well but I don't think it's gonna work for the jigging as well with the swim baits compared to the uh, the trolling it but anyway 
<clears throat> it is what it is. My mind's kind of on fishing now. It's fishing season, right? Craig, uh, Craig from church called me the other day when uh, when I was going out with uh, with uh, Allie and, and Chas, and uh, I'm sitting in the boat ramp waiting for Buddy Boy because you know he's anyway the guy the guy that was at the ramp the guy that was at the launch was coming in he was just taking his time so I was sitting there waiting so Craig called so I answered the uh, answered the phone. <clears throat> he's like, yeah, yeah, I need you to, you know, I just want to know if you're going to be around this week. And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be around. He said, okay, I'm going to get you to do this for me if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. And then I told him, you know, a couple things that I, he asked me to do before that I had done. We go out, we go fishing, I get back, and I'm thinking about it last night, and I'm like, I truly don't know. Maybe it was Saturday night. I said, I, I, I said to Ali, I said, no, I don't remember what he wanted me to do. So I texted him, and I said, listen, bud. If you're, it's fine that you phone me and talk to me and tell me to do something, but during fishing season, you also have to send a confirmation text because otherwise it doesn't count. So I'm not held responsible. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Glasses, we need glasses. So we are in Romans 13, starting in chapter 11. Or we are in Romans 13, verse 11. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over, the day is almost here, so let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently, as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy, rather clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. I'm going to stop there for today, because otherwise we get into chapter 14, and it's, uh, it's quite a long portion there. So. so yeah, just a continuation of love fulfilling the law and, and uh, submitting to governing authorities and such, right? So breaking that one down, a very short little portion there, it's, uh, it's living a holy and righteous life to God. And again, <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm righteous and holy, I'm saying Christ, who lives in me, is righteous and holy. I make mistakes every day. I screw up. I do. I have bad thoughts. I have intrusive thoughts. I have, you know, I do dumb things. I react badly. I do all sorts of dumb things. Trying really hard not to. Praying lots about it. Praying that the Lord gives me, uh, you know, help with all of that stuff and my issues. Because I've called on the Lord Jesus Christ. I've asked him into my heart. I've asked for forgiveness of my sins. I am... It all honesty, attempting to turn away from all my sins. I am trying hard not to sin. <clears throat> but salvation is not by works. Again, salvation is done through the works of Jesus Christ. He's, he's done it all. Again, my trying to lead a holy life and a righteous life and, and trying not to sin is merely showing him appreciation for the gift that he's already given me. I can't work my way into heaven. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter how many good deeds you do. It doesn't matter. If you deny Christ, and by denying Christ, I mean if you, if, if you don't accept Christ as Lord, then you're denying him. And how do you expect to get into to somebody's house if you snub them at the door. The reality is you come to my door and you go, I don't need you. And you start to walk in past me. I'm not letting you in my house. I think that's just reasonable, right? But if you love me, you're my friend. Legitimately, love me. You're my friend. Come into my house, no problem. It's the same thing with Jesus, man. I love you, buddy. God loves you so much. I miss you. I look forward to seeing you one of these days. And I will post more tomorrow.